In Ghana, millions of people were living without in-home toilets, and design thinking was implemented to give them a unique system that solved their most basic sanitation need. IDEO.org, Unilever and Water and Sanitation for the Urban Poor, WSUP, devised a clean team, which was a comprehensive sanitation system that delivers and maintains toilets in the homes of subscribers. What is the Clean Team Project? In low-income districts of Kumasi, Ghana, many lived without toilets in their homes and used grossly unhygienic sanitation methods. The pilot project was based on 100 such households of Kumasi. The clean team was delegated to design a standalone, rental toilet unit, which would become a waste removal system. They also had to devise branding, uniforms, a payment model, a business plan, and key messaging. Inspiration In the inspiration phase, lots of interviews were taken with sanitation experts to understand the design challenges. 40% of the population of Kumasi currently depends on public toilet and Kumasi's population is in excess of 2 million. An interesting historical note about Ghana came forward. Ghana would have night soil collectors for years, who cleaned out buckets of latrine every night. But many of the collectors dumped human waste on the streets, and this system was banned in the 90s. Ideation The team started their main research by spending time with the Kumasi families and brainstormed about their needs with the citizens and partners. To make the questions not intimidating, they asked about neighbors, friends, their surroundings, etc. They also took into consideration their aesthetics and if they were comfortable in having servicemen coming into their homes. They also considered questions like, would a urine diverting toilet work? Where in the home would the toilet go? Can you design a toilet that can only be emptied at a waste management facility? Prototype and testing. Now, the team more or less understood the Kumasi family's choice regarding placement, maintenance, pricing, and branding through this process. WSUP realized that what was needed was a domestic urine diverting cartridge toilet service. As the look and feel of the toilet was fleshed out and the service offerings were drawn up, a live prototype of the clean team service was run. It was found that the low-income householders liked these Unilu toilets better and were willing and able to pay for the service, which was less expensive than the cost for a public washroom. As of 2012, the Unilu toilets have been in production and they have IDEO's branding. The clean team now serves over 5,000 people in Kumasi, Ghana, making lives cleaner, healthier, and more dignified. In the ideation phase, the WSUP team heard that consumers would be happier disposing of their own waste if it could save them money. They were also uncomfortable to allow service people into their homes. In the prototype and testing phase, a few portable toilets were installed in a few homes of potential subscribers. They came to realize that not only were the toilets popular because subscribers could use them anytime, at their own homes, without the trouble of standing in queues, they also understood the value of someone else taking care of the waste disposal. Clean team designer Danny Alexander says, giving people the ability to test things totally changed their perspective. The clean team is a transformative, affordable and large-scale social enterprise that changed the lives of thousands of people in Ghana. At the heart of it is design thinking, the most human-centered approach to problem solving be a part of Dalham's 21st century micro-learning. Program and learn design thinking at your own convenience, aided by a visually engaging, bite-sized micro-learning format. Learn with Dalham. Be the future.